What is up, faux fam? Hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you for joining the faux fam. If you're new to this channel, just to let you guys know, we are not just a travel channel. We are not just a food review channel. We are an everything channel. We are a family channel. And we are also a cooking channel. Today, homemade ramen. Oh yeah. All right, we got one of those whole fresh organic chickens from Natural Vietnam. Amazing spot. And because I have a really crappy knife and my butchering skills is not as good as my brother QT, we're gonna do it this way. Ready? And there we go. All segmented it up, ready to get into a pot. My bro, QT, sorry man, this gotta get sacrificed. You know how it is. I'm also going in with one small onion and some ginger. Let that come up to a boil and then we're gonna simmer it for two hours. We're making homemade broth, but we're also making homemade ramen noodles. First thing we did here was we baked some baking soda. There's a whole science apparently to it. It changes it from sodium bicarbonate to sodium carbonate and it makes the noodles tastier. Hey hi buddy! I just woke yeah. up from my Yeah. I just woke up from my nap. I'm gonna have me some ramen. Half a cup of warm water. Add four teaspoons of the baked baking soda to your warm water. Two, three, four. Mix until dissolved. Add half a cup of cold water. Ivan Ramen suggests using a mix of flour, so I'm gonna do the same thing. So all together you need three cups of flour. I'm gonna use half a cup of oat flour, a cup and a half of plain flour, and then a cup and a half of bread flour or cake flour. So once you have your three cups of flour, start adding it to the water and baking soda mixture, mixing it slowly. Apparently you're gonna have a very crumbly dough, something most people have never really worked with before, including myself. So it says once you've had, you have the mixture um, together in the bowl, you can throw it onto a workspace and knead it for five minutes. I'm going to skip the step of putting it onto a workspace and just knead it for five minutes exactly in the bowl. So you wanna knead it for the full five minutes because you want to develop the gluten to make a very chewy and delicious noodle. All right, once you've kneaded the dough for five minutes, cover it with saran wrap and let it rest for 20 minutes at room temperature. Guys, my stock came up to a boil and I let it go down to a simmer now. I also skimmed out all like the uh, nasty bits. Let it simmer. After the dough's rested at room temperature for 20 minutes, put it on a workable surface and knead it again for five minutes. Warning, we may curse and sweat. After you kneaded it for another five minutes, cover it again. and put it in the fridge for one hour. All right, I'm also gonna make some six minute soft boiled eggs. I got a timer ready, I got my ice bath ready, I got water at a boil. I'm taking her down to a simmer. I'm gonna drop these eggs in slowly with a ladle so they don't crack. Take your water way down, it should be at a rolling simmer. Just like that. Get these eggs out, straight into an ice bath. All right, I'm gonna be making a tare, which is an extra little side seasoning that you add, and then you add your chicken broth to for ramen. There's shio, which is like a salt-based one. There's shoyu, which is like a um, soy sauce-based one. And then you can do miso as well too. I think we're just gonna do kind of like a bastardized one today. I read a couple recipes, but I'm just gonna jumble a couple of them together and make my own. They say to use a little pork fat. I don't have pork fat. I'm going butter. Garlic. I'm going a little soy in here. They say to add sugar. I'm adding honey. A little rice wine vinegar is going in there too.
Dough rested in the fridge for one hour. I'm now gonna cut my dough into eight equal parts. Time to get rolling. We don't have a rolling pin or a pasta roller. We don't even have a wine bottle. But we got a vodka bottle this time. All right, that soy based tare is done. So we're having a shoyu style ramen. I added a lot of fresh ground pepper in there too. It's tasty. Stock is still simmering and reducing. We're rolling out the uh, noodles now. A lot of steps, a lot of work, but hopefully it'll be worth it. I think it'll be worth it. So when you're rolling out the dough, a tip from Ivan Ramen is to fold over the dough and roll it on top of each other. I guess that makes for a chewier noodle, so following his tip because he's a man. I took all my chicken out. I transferred pots. I seasoned it with a teeny bit of salt. Remember, you're gonna have the tare so it's gonna be perfectly seasoned. Kate's rolled out all the dough. She's about to cut it. It's almost eating time. These nudes are going in. Let's assemble these bowls here. I'm gonna go one ladle of the tare. Get your stock in there. Add in the noodles in. Every video I saw, they did the broth and then the noodles, so that's why I'm doing it this way. Adding the accoutrements. Green onion. Soft boiled egg. Ah yeah, delish. Prettiest bowl I ever did see right there. Toasted black sesame seeds. And a hangry baby in there. Somebody's hangry. Ramen yum. Mm. There it is guys, our homemade chicken shoyu ramen. Come on, tell me that does not look badass. Check those nudes. Poach pull apart tender chicken. Scallions. Mm. Soft boiled egg. Toasted sesame. Hand rolled, hand cut noodles. Caitlin's going in. Caitlin's going in. Holy cow, that's good. Ooh. Oh, so rich. It's delicious. Buttery. Perfect balance of butter, like salt, sour, and sweet. Yeah. Does my hair look okay? Because you just looked at my hair. Sweaty. You're sweaty from rolling. <laughs> it's all good. Those are like, that's what happens when you roll in a small little cove, <laughs> hand noodles. Let's try these noodles out. I don't want to ruin the beautiful bowl. Right, you gotta do it. Mm, look at these nudes, guys. Mmm, mmm, toothy. A little thick because hand rolling with a vodka bottle is not easy, but the taste is there and that's all that matters. Mmm, good team effort. Good job, babe. Good job. First time homemade ramen. Yes. Double fisting the nudes in there. Guys, look at those fat little circles of flavor explosion. Moment of truth. Mm. Oh, so good. I nailed it. <laughs> like chicken stock, really pure, clean, simple, you know, like just ginger, onion. You could add a carrot. We didn't have one, so I didn't put one in. I threw in mushrooms in there off camera uh, and a clove of garlic too. Really simple, very mellow. But then that tare that we make, it's like you do up the garlic with a little bit of butter. So it's like a sofrito. Could have added some onions, I didn't feel like chopping up any onions. And then soy sauce and the rice wine vinegar, and then I used honey instead of sugar, and a little sesame oil. Oh my god, that's so good. Handmade noodles here. Mmm. Mm. Handmade noodles? You know what? They're a little thick, but I don't mind it. I like the chewiness to it and everything. It's like a lot of texture. 
Um, thinner would be more traditional, I guess, but there's some, like, I don't mind it. I like them fat sometimes, you know? That is freaking delicious. I'm getting a full on bite with chicken here. Mmm. Green onions, too. Get on there. Yes. Mmm. -hmm. I mean, not to toot our own horn, but we killed this meal, it's delicious. Full disclosure, the noodles don't taste 100% accurate like ramen noodles. They're a little fatter, like like a good hand-pulled Chinese noodle or something like that. But the overall taste of the bowl, out of the park, super, super tasty. But we can make the noodles a little bit more authentic tasting to the ramen. I think shape and size has something to do with it. So next time. That. No, it's just like you know, I I'm, I I deal with heat better, and like you're like you know. It's true. Yeah. It's true. This little timbit loves it. Yeah. Deconstructed ramen. <laughs> mm. What's your review? A black. Oh, nice. So you like it? Black. Okay, awesome. So you like it. I gotta try this egg right here. I was going for a little runnier, but you know what? It's still good. Tasty. Tasty. I'm so sad that this bowl is ending. We have more broth, but we don't have more noodles. These noodles, uh, not accurate in the ramen style, but like exactly like, you know, like Chinese style pulled hand noodles. Really delicious. Kid that wants to give me a facial. <laughs> what? I'm serious. Wow. Let's beautify you, baby. This uh, activated charcoal thing is all the new rage now, right? Yeah, so this is activated charcoal and French green clay and then the product is made by Modern Hippie Housewife, and I'm an ambassador, so if you guys want to check out her website and order some stuff, there's a code down below, and you can get 15% off your entire purchase. I'm gonna get a facial, and we'll see if it works, if I get beautified. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> it feels so good going on. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> Doesn't it feel good though? <laughs> it feels like... You can open your eyes. I'm not gonna stab you in the eye. Okay, stop being scared. <laughs> Just enjoy it. You're painting my face. I've never painted before. Just enjoy it. Summer, stop pulling on me. <laughs> Feels totally weird. So you're really good for your skin. When you're in this Hanoi heat, you just wanna take care of your skin, you know? Do you want me to do your beard? I don't know, do you, can you do a beard? Oh yeah, for sure. How do you get this off? You rinse with warm water and you exfoliate whenever you take it off. Oh really? So it, like, it's, it's an exfoliant as well. It doesn't come off in like one cool mask. <laughs> no. That's lame. Summer's really like curious to know what we're doing up here. Yeah. Let's see where she is. Hi. <laughs> now we both have hats on. You look funny. <laughs> She's laughing at us. Okay? Yeah, it just feels weird. You never had a facial before, right? <laughs> <laughs> once in college. <laughs> uh, I had a facial once at Fusion. Fusion Resort. Right. Is that the only one you've ever had? Yeah. Because I demanded that you get it. It was yeah. so good. Oh my god, because your Asian eyes, you like <laughs> you look like a ninja. You're gonna love them. But I fell asleep for half that facial, so I don't right. even know what happened. Mm. And now we wait for it to dry. Will it work? I thought it was gonna be a lot cooler if we got to peel the whole thing off in one show, but whatever. Dada. Can I have a kiss? Dada. Give me a kiss. Can I have a kiss? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah? Yeah.
<laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's me. Thumbs up. Yeah. Face starting to feel kind of tight. Just tighten it up everywhere. That's Feels good though, right? Yeah, it's supposed to like dry it out and detoxify. It's a detoxifying mask. Feels tight. <laughs> toy, like a toy gun. Toy, toy. I can't feel my face. It's like really tight in my lips. What does it feel like? It's like tight. <laughs> like I'm wearing a clay mask. You look like you could be in a horror movie. Don't do that. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to kind of give your face give your face an initial rinse and then with that rinse you want to exfoliate. But be careful because it's quite abrasive, so just like apply the amount of pressure that feels right. Oh crap. Like, like sandy paper. Yeah, so it just it's quite abrasive, so don't scrub oh, too hard. Really? Yeah, don't scrub too hard. Just scrub as much as it feels good. On like places where you find that you have more acne than normal. I find I have more acne in my T-zone. Alright, I'm scrubbing your T-zone. You're such a nerd. When you're in that Hanoi heat all day. You want to detox. Holy crap, there's still so much on me. <laughs> I know, it takes a while. It's in your mouth now. So fresh. Does my skin look good or what? <laughs> oh, there's like a whole layer peeling off. I don't think my skin's ever looked better than this. <laughs> Guys, my face actually feels really soft and fresh and rejuvenated. That's crazy. That's good for the guys too, right? Oh, totally. Yeah. Get it, you know. Get it, you and the lady, you and the missus. Give each other some facials. It's a good night. I just scared the sh out of Caitlin. <laughs> and she pissed at me. Guys, I was outside. Bring it closer. I was outside doing laundry. Caitlin's house, there you go. <laughs> I was outside doing laundry. I was outside on like our little solarium doing laundry. And he was taking his mask off. And I turned up and he's standing there with a butcher knife. In the dark. In the dark. <laughs> so you watch out, it's on. I should have got on tape, it been funny. Yeah. Um, this mask, Modern Hippie Housewife. It's a product we use, uh, all our baby gear, all our butt stuff, all our sunblock and everything. So. I, she sources all of the ingredients herself, so basically she knows where everything's coming from. Um, uses mostly organic, like if she can, and um, yeah, it's made in small batches, which is like super cool. If you're interested, check it out. We also have a promo code, and you can get some discounts on it. Yeah. Capitalized Caitlin15 on www.modernhippiehw.com. Link below. We don't get a cut or anything, right? No. Yeah. We don't get a cut or anything. We just fully support this stuff. Yeah, I'm an ambassador too, so she sends me stuff, I try it out, and then I let my viewers know that um, it's good stuff. Why don't I have a code? It should be like, capital for your eyes only. <laughs> oh my goodness. Carly, make it happen. Capital for your eyes only. <laughs>